Hello students, welcome to tutorialcluster.com. Now in the last video, we have seen about types of system. So basically, what is the system you have been able to know about it. Now, in this video, we are going to talk of heat and work interaction. Okay. Now see, consider a system, of course, this is the boundary and outside the boundary there is surrounding. Now this system, it has energy in it. Okay. Now, the, when this energy, it crosses the system boundary it may become heat or work okay so basically energy interaction it can be in the form of heat or it can be in the form of work now consider you are having the system okay now when heat is supplied to the system when heat is supplied to the system it is considered as positive and when heat is withdrawn from the system it is considered as negative so this is for heat interaction sign convention okay very simple if heat is supplied to the system it is considered as positive when heat is withdrawn from the system it is considered as negative okay now let's say you are having a system and the volume of the system is v1 now let's say after certain time the volume of system increases let's say it is v2 obviously v2 is greater than v1 that means can i say system volume system volume expand there is expansion okay expand y bada hai so in this case work is said to be positive okay that means work is done by the system work is done by the system and it is considered as positive right now what will happen let's say there is contraction in system volume Okay, for example, let's say this is your V1, this is your system, volume is V1. After a certain time, let's say system contracts, system contracts. So, system volume contract. Right, that means volume decreases. So, see, surrounding jab kaam karega. Okay, let's say surrounding pressure dal rai system pe. From all side. To ho kya ho jayega? Compress ho jayega. So, can I say work done on the system? Work is done on the system. So, in this case, the work is considered as negative. Okay, if work is done by the system, that means there is expansion, it is considered as positive. If work is done on the system, if system volume contracts, system volume decreases, it is considered as negative. Right? Okay. Now, one more thing you have to remember, in case of work transfer, when when external agent 
when external agent does the work on the system it is considered as negative it is considered as negative okay so when external agent performs the work it is considered as negative now so basically heat and work heat and work these are boundary phenomena these are what boundary phenomena why bond boundary phenomena see heat and work transfer kab ho raha hai jab system or surrounding mein kuch interaction ho raha hai through the boundary that's why it is called as boundary phenomena okay then second both are transient in nature both are transient in nature now transient means they are in moving okay transient that means in moving transient in nature okay energy ya fir heat or work it is getting transfer from system to surrounding or from surrounding to system that's why it is called as transient in nature okay and one more point you have to remember heat and work these are path function these are path function okay now to illustrate this okay let us consider one example now let's say i am having insulated system i am having insulated a perfect insulation okay of course perfect insulation very difficult to get but assume it is a perfect insulation now let's say i am having a battery here okay uh, this is the positive and a negative terminal and let's say i am having a resistance over here okay so let's say i am having a insulated box or insulated cylinder and it has a battery in it okay now across the terminal of the battery let's say there is resistor this is the r and let's say now temperature increases let's say temperature increases from 25 degree celsius to 50 degree celsius now this is your system insulated system this is what insulated system insulated right so this is basically your system okay and outside the system there is a surrounding right and this is the boundary this is what a boundary no no as the system is insulated as the system is insulated there will be no heat transfer so q it is equal to 0 as it is insulated q it is for heat okay q it is for heat okay now what about work interaction now let's say the battery is switched on fine so there will be energy interaction okay but whether this energy it is going into the surrounding no that is one thing okay that means work will be equal to zero why work is zero because work does not crosses the boundary does not crosses the boundary 
आई होप इट इज क्लियर ओके वर्क बी जीरो रहेगा और हीट बी जीरो रहेगी हीट ऑब्वियसली इंसुलेटेड है फाइन नो वर्क क्यू जीरो है लेट्स से आपने बैटरी ऑन कर दिए नो इशू बट जो वर्क है वो सिस वो सिस्टम को क्रॉस नहीं कर रहे बाउंड्री को क्रॉस नहीं कर रहे इट इज नॉट गोइंग इन टू द सराउंडिंग ओके वो सिस्टम के अंदर ही है दैट्स वाई वर्क विल बी जीरो ओके मैंने क्या कहा था दो हजार बाउंड्री फैन वाला है बाउंड्री को क्रॉस करना चाहिए ओके फाइन नो सेम सिस्टम लेट्स से आई एम अज्यूमिंग लाइक दिस This is my insulation. Okay, this is the insulated box. No. Let's say I am having the battery outside. Battery यहाँ पे है. This is the battery. Again, a positive and a negative terminal. Okay. And let's say the resistance is like this. okay now what will happen to this okay this is your system this is your surrounding okay now what about heat q it is insulated so heat interaction there will be no heat interaction so q will be zero now what about work see the battery it is outside the system so battery it is nothing but the external agent so basically external agent it is doing the work on the system that's why work it is considered as negative हमने यहाँ पे देखा था इफ एक्सटर्नल एजेंट डज दी वर्क ऑन दिस सिस्टम इट इज कंसिडर्ड एज निगेटिव ओके सो इन दिस केस वर्क विल बी निगेटिव एज एक्सटर्नल एजेंट इज डूइंग दी वर्क एज एक्सटर्नल एजेंट इज डूइंग दी वर्क ऑन सिस्टम सो आई होप नाउ इट इज क्लियर how the heat and work interaction takes place between system and the surrounding and the sign conventions are very important so quickly we are going to revise what are the sign convention so if heat is supplied to the system it is considered as positive if heat is withdrawn from the system it is considered as negative now if work is done by the system it is considered as positive if work is done on the system it is considered as negative and one more point if external agent is doing the work on the system it is considered as negative so i hope now it is clear and hope you have now idea about heat and work interaction between system and the surrounding so please do like this video if you want to join the telegram channel you can join it you will find the link in the description box and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel thank you